Hello, in this lecture we will take a look at how to retrieve the files, retrieve the files, that is to retrieve them from your computer to the C sharp part and at that point you can do anything with them, you can upload them using form data, form data, form content or you can do something with them using the blazer on the front end so if you do something with that we will also take a look at how to actually download the file without even uploading it to the server so in this lecture we will make it all very simple and all very straightforward we won't actually be writing any code the code is provided in the resources for this lecture so you can access them and simply use it just access it and use it now as far as the uploading is concerned there are several ways to do it of course but in in the in the downloading there's really no other way to do it so first of all let's take a look at the index.html and this is where we will have our javascript part we will need to to access the JavaScript in this case as well. So first of all, first of all what we have here is the download file function. Now once you have the file you will need obviously the name for it and you will need, uh, need base64. Now in this case I did write bt64 because it does actually come from bytes in the C-sharp. We will take a look at that later. But as you can see for the download, it's a very, very simple function. You simply create a sort of a download link, an A HTML element, and then you add the name, add the name for the download, and then you add the link that is the base64 string plus the so if you use your default data for the base64 string because when it comes from C sharp you won't have it at that point okay and then you open the child and then you click the child and then you remove it as well so again it's all very simple very clean and very clear so just using just use it don't change anything it will work perfectly and there's really no other way to actually improve it now to the retrieval of a file to the uploading part first of all we have this uh, open file dialog okay that opens the file dialog of course and then we also have uh, we also have let's say current file current file text file is loading now this boolean is very important it will not work without it it has to be there it has to be there also we have the get base 64 get base 64 but before that we have check check loading so this is going to be used you'll see in c sharp this will be checking if the file is still being loaded and if it is loaded it will be retrieved this variable will be retrieved rather this variable and uh, this one as well okay so this function will be called get file as you can see we have a little little array going here a little list so first of all we have the actual file and then we have a file ext it is called here but in this example what we have is uh, the full name the full name not just the extension but the full name now obviously you would want to probably pass the name at some point or maybe you wouldn't if you are uploading you probably need to do that because you will be generating some random name for the file but if you don't you don't you just use the full name just like that so the full name is in the document get element by id the file picker the file picker the files and that is the name the name attribute is the full name and you can split it on dot and you would get the second second element in the array would be the extension okay so we'll get back to that later 
let's take a look at the index razor. Let's take a look at the razor part and we have some interesting things here. First of all, we have the input. We have the input. That is a file picker. It has the ID, obviously, and it has on change event. The on change event will be that event that gets the file. This is quite complex and complicated. We'll get to that. And then you have the button, the button on click. On click, we have two buttons. First of all, uh, the first one gets file, gets the file, and the second one saves file. Okay, so the whole workflow is quite straightforward. You simply click on this button, and then you get to the pick file method. Method in this case, okay. It's pick file method. And then that one simply opens the file dialog. Okay, that opens the file dialog. So that is the this one, this function, and that basically clicks the element which is hidden. Obviously, you usually want to design the button and have the actual input hidden because the default one just doesn't look that great and there's no real way to style it properly okay so let's get back let's get back and now once there's a change on change on that input file input we go to get file and that is where the interesting part begins okay so first of all again we call the call we call the javascript function the JavaScript function and once more this returns a string but it simply has a return type because there's no other way to do it there's no other way to go around that so we have get base 64 and then we get to index HTML the JavaScript part we have this function get base 64 and basically we also have this uh, little paragraph loader p so it says that it is loading okay it's loading and loading and loading and then file is loading true it is set to true and you'll see why in a second it says to true and then we get the name and then we start the actual reading now the file the file in the JavaScript is a sort of a JavaScript object okay so what you need to do you need to convert it or read it as it is here to the base 64 the base 64 and once you have the base 64 you can convert it to byte array to byte array in C sharp that is you can't do binaries in in the JavaScript so now we have file reader and then reader read as data URL we need to read as data URL and then we get that file, get the file, and then we start reading. At this point, it's, it has started to, the reading process. And then on load end, on load end, so uh, that is once the file has been read, what we need to do, we need to remove that default JavaScript stuff. So we use this simple, simple regular expression. You can simply again you can you can use the code you can copy it uh, you can do some changes perhaps uh, and we basically replace that with nothing with nothing because mind you in the download we need to add all that stuff but when you want to convert from base 64 to byte array you cannot have it it won't work okay you have to remove that stuff so then you have the current file current file that is the base 64 string and you assign that once the default stuff is replaced or rather removed you assign that to the uh, to this variable and then you finish the loading by assigning file is loading equals false and then also you simply notify the user that it, the loading has been completed okay so at that point it is false but how does ja how does c sharp know that okay how does it know so it knows simply by looping through it looping through it 
Okay, so we have check loading. Check loading. If we go to check loading, you see it simply returns a Boolean value. It returns a Boolean value. It's, it's checking if a file has been loaded. Now, one interesting thing I want to show you, obviously don't have to do it, but we have a task delay. Now, if you don't know in C Sharp what task delay will do, it will simply delay the execution of that particular method. And this is a great thing for various uh, clocks and stopwatches and whatever else you want to do, because JavaScript doesn't actually have this feature. So this is one plus for the blazer. Okay. And then finally, once we loop through that, once uh, everything is fine, great and working, we can get to the FL, to the file, and the, we, we then await, await the invocation, and we get the file. Now, we looked at this before, we get the file, and the file we get in this sort of an array. First of all, we have the file, and then we have the extension, or rather, in this case, it is the full name. So that we return and we retrieve here we have variable fl and then the data the data right here byte array data we assign to that the base64 converted to byte array so we use convert from base64 string and that converts to byte array and then finally we simply assign the name and then the output we also want to show uh, we want to show the name okay that's it now to the save to the save the save is actually quite simple terribly simple we just call up that function and uh, we check if it's succeeded or not we can do that and basically we have the download file and we are passing on some parameters now you may have noticed you may have noticed in the lecture where we looked at how to actually call JavaScript functions in C sharp what we did is we did an array an array of objects but you can also do it as parameter list okay so you can do it as simple parameter list the first one is of course the identifier as it is called here but uh, rather I would say the name for the function and then you can simply list the object parameters the arguments okay very simple now let's launch it and take a look at how it actually works and functions and it does actually function very well and this is great for especially if you have to handle the files on the front end and obviously this is uh, probably the best application for blazer so far now let's get a file get that so I have some of these files I'll do the logo I'll do the logo and I'll open it I'll open it it says done and it does display the name and now I'll, I'll save as I'll save as I'll just do the default path save and as you can see it has been downloaded on this Maxon browser, I can simply click open and it will open right here. As you can see, it's been uploaded and downloaded and it hasn't touched the server at all. It has all been done on the front end. So this is how rather easy it is to do and how useful it is to have these, uh, these features. So again, you have the code in the resources, you can play around with it, modify it a little, and it will be very, very useful for you in the future. Now with that, we will conclude this lecture.